Yeah, Dave. What's up? I'm here with the man. Nothing much, man. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go over your new board called the Singleton. Um, what inspired you to make this board? Um, basically, I struggled to find like more of a traditional outline single fin that was uh -huh. really user friendly and didn't feel like a boat and didn't just kind of feel heavy and and kind of clunky for me. Uh, coming from a performance background, I wanted something that I would, could still turn, but that I could nose ride a lot better. And it was really easy and user friendly to nose ride. So kind of just came up with a concept and an outline and then worked from there with, uh, with Stu Kenson, who's a really close friend of Dan, Dan linked me up with him. And, um, we just went from there and Stu's got, you know, decades of expertise in this stuff. And he gave his input and I gave mine and we just sort of worked through it you know, quite a big batch of boards and came out with one that's pretty magic. So the process of making this, so this is in Thunderbolt, right? Yeah, this is in Thunderbolt. So the process right. of making this, what what is, so did Stu uh, shape a board and then you tried it out and then you go into the Thunderbolt and then you start playing around with the flex? Is that what's pretty much basically yeah, happening? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So me and Stu went through, I think, eight or nine different variations of the board. Uh -huh. uh, until we got one that felt like it had the right balance that I was looking for. And it's actually what I rode in Malibu last year. So it's something that I could compete on in contests and allows me to, you know, tick the, the traditional criteria box, but still not separate from, you know, my performance background and being able to do turns. So we went through, yeah, eight or nine different variations. And then once we had the one that was magic, we sent that shape over to Thunderbolt and then they, Took it from there and then yeah we started playing with flex and they get it pretty quick so you know a couple different variations got sent my way and i just whatever one felt the best that was it i, I don't know anything about it i have no idea what the flex pattern was or <laughs> you know i, I you keep my head out of that side of things i'm like that one feels the best so let's just run with that oh right on so the renditions that you had you had eight of them um as you go through it what are the things that you guys talk about um you know i think a lot of people would like to know what you know, when you're writing something, what do you tell them and what you're looking for and how they how, what they do to it to to have that performance feel. But with that, that uh, traditional feel, what are the conversations that you have? Uh, they're pretty funny, actually. It's um a lot of it's just based on my feel. Like, I'll just tell him it feels this and it feels that. And then from his design and shaping side, he can say, OK, I think if we widen the tail block by a quarter of an inch or we add a little more volume here, a little more rocker there. That'll get that feeling better how you want it. So I just, I'm pretty much just telling exactly how I feel. Like, hey, I feel like it turns amazing, but I'm losing some nose riding. So can we kind of balance that out a little bit more and pull the wide point or whatever he says? And I just kind of run with their expertise, man. They've been doing this for a long time. And, you know, guys like Stu and Dan are just, they're wizards when it comes to shaping surfboards. So you got to trust their decades of experience with with dealing with proper feedback, let them make the tweaks and then ride it and say, okay, yeah, you nailed that. Let's work on this bit now. So it's kind of oh, one step at a time. Cool. It's, it's a super fun process. Like, I, I love it. I get off on it. I think it's really cool. Yeah. Oh, so this part of the board is good. This part of the board is junk. Can you make it the junk part a little bit better? <laughs> totally. Like, hey, I need th this one, especially I was like, hey, I need a little bit more nose lift without compromising how well it turns. And Stu had a way to kind of dial that in and, and fix it and straight away. I was like, yeah, that's it. Exactly. Cool. Oh, All right. Let's on. work on this. Or let's take a little bit of edge out, add a little bit of edge. It's just, it's little tweaks, but they make a huge difference. And it's just really fun to get to play with, you know, eight different boards and throughout the process, learn a lot about what I like in these types of boards and what works and what doesn't. Yeah. So the um, weight of the board, did you make it a little bit, so, you know, like um, CJ's boards are a little bit on the heavier side. And then we have, you know, Ben's cherry picker, which is a little bit lighter. Um, did you tell them what, what weight you wanted and they just dialed it in for you on the Thunderbolt? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I, I just went off the weight that uh, the prototypes were because um, they felt magic. So I think if you have a board that's magic and you're trying to replicate that, you just stick with whatever that is. Uh -huh. So what those weights were when we when we got them, I just said, look, just match these weights, please. What, however you got to do it, but let's just get these exactly the same because they they just felt like a perfect balance for me.
Yeah. So do, would you call it a little bit lighter side, like for performance, or is it a little bit more traditional weight? Yeah, it's kind of in between. Like, it's not, you know, it's not like my HPs and stuff where I want super light. It's it's a nice balance where you have a little bit of weight to carry your momentum because uh -huh. you're on a single pin and you don't have those side bites to create the momentum. So it's got just enough weight to carry the momentum through sections when you're nose riding and stuff, but not so much that off the tail it feels clunky or hard to turn like it still has that quick response off the back oh right on so you got a board back there behind you yeah that's one right there i don't know can you is... see it? yep i can see it zoom in on so the they color. come in oh yeah perfect so do they okay, they yeah. come in um how many different sizes and what are the dims so it's a nine four and a nine eight and that's it we didn't really tweak with sizes too much. Those are the two sizes that I personally love. Um, I just, I got the 9.8 basically so that I could ride it in contests, like WSL stuff. I needed a bigger board for my size and, and I wanted the 9.8. And then the 9.4, for me, it was like, I wanted to make something that's super user friendly. And I think 9.4 is like a really great size for that. And with this balanced outline and a little bit of performance, it just, it just felt right. Like the nine four, the one we made, it was just so magic. It's one of the best boards I've ever had. I was like, that's it. Just stop there. We'll just make a nine four in that size. We were thinking about nine three or something else. I was just like, no, it's the nine four is magic. I don't know what it is, but it just felt insane straight away. So we stuck with a nine four and then a nine eight for me to be able to ride in contests in the smaller surf. Oh, right on. So the bottom and the rails, um, is the bottom like a traditional teardrop concave or is it just a, could you tell me about the bottom? Yeah, so the bottom's got like a single concave up the front, like pretty much teared concave. Um, the middle goes into a slight roll, not much. Like I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the, like a sticky bottom, really rolled bottom boards. I feel like they stick too much. Just slight roll and then flat out the tail. So it's got this really nice balance of hold, but then when you step on the tail, it can really turn and whip. The nose, obviously, with that concave, I'm a big fan of that concave in the nose. All my yeah. boards, it just, I think it works great. And um, yeah, it's got concave with the nose, 50 50 rails, pretty flat deck. It's got a nice, even flowing outline. It's just, yeah, it's just super user friendly. Like nothing too extreme, nothing crazy, just easy to ride. So is it more like a um like a reverse rocker where the tail is high or is it pretty pretty no, even? No, so in the front it's and got. Back? Um, let me see. I want to actually be able to show you this. Sorry, the camera goes a little bit weird right now, but no, that's all right. Let me see. If can you see that? Oh yes. Back. Yep, I can see it. You can see that. So the nose is to the left, so it's pretty even. Yeah. Oh, it nice. Doesn't have like a. I don't, I'm not a fan of like the flip tailed reverse rocker stuff. I feel like it drags too much from the mid board. Uh, and you lose a lot of flow with that. You either have to be straight on the nose or straight on the tail for them to work. And when you get mid board, you feel a lot of drag. So for me, I just kind of wanted it like a balance of it so that you have enough in the tail that you get the hold that you want but without minimizing that trim point. Because I think the trim point when you're on a longboard is really important. It just, yeah. that's what keeps your flow going. Just had an interview with uh, Joel, a Zoom call, and he was talking about that too. So he was saying the exact same thing you're saying. Yeah, it's, I, yeah. Mean, I think that would, you know, with my success in Huntington last year and riding the specialty, it's a pretty flat board as well. And it has just a really even rocker and it keeps you from pushing water. So when you're surfing flatter based waves, which single fins are kind of generally that's where you're going to be riding a bigger board. It just helps to kind of have an even rocker. So you don't start pushing water and you don't drag. Yeah. What about the rails? Is it like more of a 60, 40 or 50, 50 and pinched or 50, 50, just straight, like straight 50, 50. And then it's got um, about eight inches of edge in the tail. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you know, a 50, 50, yeah, 50, 50, a little bit 60, 40 ish, somewhere in between the two. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah. And, and then just, we found that we experimented a ton with edge in the tail because a lot of the times with, with nose riding, if you have too much edge, it causes your board to slide out. So we experimented with how much edge we could get away with without 
it's sliding out. So we started at like 12 inches with the edge and worked back all the way down to four inches and then kind of worked back up again. And we ended up at about eight inches was kind of that balance of enough to bite on the turns so you can really push, but it doesn't compromise your nose riding too much. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yeah, it was cool. It was a fun, yeah. fun experiment to play with. Yeah. So on the 9.4, um, the nose, do you know how big the nose is? I don't know the exact dimensions, but you can see the outline is just a really like it's balanced really well, super balanced outline. Like, yeah, that's kind of my favorite about it. Like every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, the outline just looks beautiful. Yeah, it is. It's just really like nice. A nice, nice flow. It's definitely got a bigger nose than what I would normally be on, but that just, it helps with nose riding. Like my feet fit yeah. nice and easy. Like, so, so for the people that don't know, uh, what is your height and weight? I am 6'4 and about 215. Yeah, that's why so when I'm you're at the boy, ranch, so... when you're at the ranch trying to go in the barrel, the barrel's hitting you in the head the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I can't get that low, man. <laughs> kind of, a, I love that weight, but kind of an unfair advantage for me. Like that first barrel section, the guys were pulling into us. Man, I didn't even fit in that. There's no way. going to lie down and drop me or something. It just wasn't going to happen, so. <laughs> it's all good it, yeah. yeah it'll be at my advantage when the waves get big so it's all good <laughs> um so um the fins what fins are you using on it yeah so i switched between two different fins right um the the power drive is just my go-to when it comes to the single fins like that um that really has a nice balance especially in the nine four um gives you that, that flow and that big base to turn off of and it's hold it just it feels right for that board and then in the 9.8 i've been playing around with a bunch of different like nose rider template fins um, a couple of cjs that he's got and just things that are kind of more of a pivot fin. just when i'm more focused on nose riding the 9.8 i'm kind of more focused on standing on the tip and, and getting that thing to lock in and hold so i'll grab a pivot fin like one of cjs works good and just use that and yeah it can still turn but it gets a little bit more lock and hold yeah Hey, that's. Do you want to add anything? Oh, you know what? It's actually really cool. I don't know if you can see the kind of double deck patch thing that's going on there. I can see it. It might be a little bit bright, but so we've we've got like a a light volan deck patch there. Yeah. So it's it's pretty bulletproof, like knee paddling and stuff. I wanted to add kind of a cool looking deck patch that has that kind of two tone look to it. Which so is, is it kind actually of a, cool a little bit stronger right in that area? Yeah, it's a little bit stronger. So like I've I've had one for a while now and I like I don't even really get dense anymore. Like and I can knee paddle and you know it just feels a bit stronger from there back and aesthetically I think it looks cool and on the tail too, the same things there. Oh that looks you can sick. Quite see yep, it, but it I comes out it. like you can, can see, see the, the wrap two different and stuff. tones. It comes out really yeah, it comes out beautiful and just something a little different and something that was fun and, and functional, you know, it adds a little bit of strength back there, a little bit of strength around your fin box. Yeah, I just thought it looked cool too. It, it looks <laughs> clean, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, super right on. clean. It's kind of like a light, light sagey color, which is yeah. really beautiful. Yeah. Right on. Sweet. Thank you very much for your right time, on, man. No worries. Thank you, man. I'm stoked. Yeah.